let's continue our uh, discussion about receptive and productive skills okay for your facility i'm going to divide or say it use the term four strands of language teaching okay what are the four strands that's what we are going to discuss in this module four strands means uh, the meaning focused input and meaning focused output and language uh, focused learning and fluency development these are the four strands which uh, are key to understand reading skill okay well what is reading uh, meaning focused input specifically speaking in reference to reading meaning focused input can be uh, done through listening and uh, but we are here mainly focused on reading okay uh, when we say meaning focused it means the things which we are reading are meaningful they have a purpose and uh, we are reading to search some information or we are criticizing a text or we are trying to learn something or to integrate information from whatever we read and that's meant to help us write well so this is what means by whatever we are training our students when we are teaching reading that training should be emphasized towards developing meaning uh, reading through meaning focused input i mean there shouldn't be teaching of reading as as a decontextualized skill rather it should be uh, contextualized i mean it should take place in the context of something okay when we are giving meaning focused input to our student we must ensure that the level is according uh, i mean we we have appropriate level to the understanding of students for example if we are if we want to teach reading to um 10th grade students or uh, we should look uh, the difficulty level of the text that it shouldn't be over the difficulty level of the students okay and meaning focused output when we are designing reading program or reading material or bringing in some reading tasks in the classroom there it should be emphasis should be given to meaning focused output i mean uh, the, the reading course shouldn't be exclusively designed to give uh, uh, i mean uh, emphasis only to reading rather they, we can include some activities or tasks which are related to listening and speaking and writing okay and uh, these are important because uh, students can uh, uh, listen to a text and read afterwards so this is how we can incorporate and uh, make sure that reading is actually taught in an effective way so language focused learning is important when we are talking about reading because it helps develop the skills and knowledge needed for effective reading so for example when we are teaching reading we we need to ensure that we are teaching our students some of the key strategies for example skimming scanning pre reading pre guessing or uh, and this is how we can make students familiar with the text structures right so uh, the fluency development uh, means that we can help uh develop the fluency level of our students when we are teaching reading um mainly our students are eager to know new items and um, uh, and most of our reading courses are designed to teach reading items i mean uh, at school level but teachers can ensure that whatever students have already learned is is um, um is made in such a way that develops their fluency so what we can do to develop the fluency is to bring in some material which 
students are already familiar with and this uh, known materials can help develop the speed of the readers and in order to ensure that we have these four strands in a reading program we we can use some strategies or tasks or material which is motivating for the students which is encouraging to the, for the students and uh, the texts which are interesting i mean which appeal to the students